Hey folks, before we get started, I wanted to let you know I have new merch available. If you go to my Tee Public store, there's a link down in the description. You will find beautiful, valid, loved. The one you're seeing on me right now, these are gender fluid pride colors. I have this design available in 16 different pride colors. Available in a wide variety of styles and colors for the shirts. You can find something for yourself or for a loved one who you want to let them know that you are proud of them. What, me? Get more worked up about something than it's worth? Don't be silly. So yeah, I'm going to talk about The Timeless Child again because as we near a uh, new episode of Doctor Who, uh where things were left off has been on my mind. And I actually was struck by an odd question. How much does the doctor being the timeless child actually change things? Now, as I sort of talk through what I'm thinking and what's sort of been on my mind, please keep at the front of your own minds that Obviously, the degree to which this impacts things is going to change and evolve as new episodes addressing it come out. So I am speaking now only from our current situation. I don't know how this is going to be integrated into future episodes. Neither do you, and I'm not here to speculate on it. I'm just saying that right now, inherently... The way we learned, what we learned, how it was implemented, and what we know about things so far, how much will it actually matter? And will it actually have significant, tangible, regularly engaged with consequences beyond whatever storyline Chibnall does? Again, asterisk sing depending on what that storyline is, maybe the answer will definitely be yes, it does. But as of right now, because here was the first thing that I found myself thinking about. And it's the fact that obviously a lot of people are upset at the idea that Hartnell is not, in fact, the first doctor. And I do get why that rubs a lot of people the wrong way, but I I kind of reverse engineered why that doesn't bother me so much. And I realized why. It's because of the mind wipe. It's because of the fact that the doctor has never known prior to now that they had any lives before Hartnell. Well, what that means is that this really has zero impact on the regeneration and lives of the doctor that we've already seen. Hartnell through the Capaldi, the Timeless Child actually does not affect those at all. Not in any practical terms. Again, if you are a lore hound, it does affect things in terms of if you're trying to plot out a chronology and where everything lands and stuff like that. But that's all kind of meta elements. That's all stuff that affects fans, but not really these stories. It doesn't recontextualize the lives of any of these previous incarnations. Because it's not like they knew and we as an audience didn't know that they knew. No, they didn't know either. So they lived their lives self-contained as we got to see and witness on the show and in comics and Big Finish and all the other things. That's actually pretty untouched by the Timeless Child. So that's the first thing that, like, really, truly zero impact there. There's also the fact that, so far as we could tell, this was not a widely known fact on Gallifrey either. It was something that, however many people knew, which was probably not many, was something that they tried to keep a lid on. So maybe it recontextualizes, I don't know, the High Council, who's already been recontextualized repeatedly over the history of this show. But other than that, it doesn't actually directly impact all that many characters that we've already seen, at least in terms of altering the things we already knew or the things we've already seen them do. So that then brings the question, 
how much will this impact things going forward? And that, of course, is the big open question. It's one I'm not in a position to answer. But I do think that just the inclusion of the memory wipe and the fact that the doctor doesn't remember any of this has the potential that as lore shaking as this feels, it has the potential to ultimately mean very little if after Chibnall's done with it, he moves on to other things or whatever showrunner comes after doesn't want to touch it. It actually doesn't really impact anybody other than this incarnation of the master and this incarnation of the doctor. And it's not a given that it has to impact anybody else after that. Now, beyond potential impact on the doctor, I suppose the, I would say most interesting, but also thing that I'm more, most nervous about that it could potentially do, it opens up a window that we haven't had before, which is the possibility that we could have at some point as a spinoff show or even after Whitaker, instead of moving past and going to the next chronological incarnation, we actually get time with an earlier one. If they wanted to explore the Ruth doctor, Joe Martin's doctor, they could feasibly have the doctor regenerate into her, or they could just decide to do a few series focusing on her wherever the heck she fits into the doctor's timeline. And while that's a possibility, one, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that because it feels needlessly fiddly. Like, I don't know necessarily what the benefit would be giving us a doctor, uh, a series of a doctor who came earlier and before Hartnell as opposed to something that would come after Whitaker because I don't I just don't know why you would need to do that as opposed to keep moving forward. I always get very cautious when any franchise gets overly enamored with history instead of progressing forward. So that does exist as an option. I'd kind of be surprised if they actually pull the trigger on it. It's not impossible. They might. But I'm just looking at the fact that, say, after Night of the Doctor, there was a lot of call among the fandom for if not a series or a spinoff, at least a special or two of Paul McGann as the Eighth Doctor. And that never moved. And if they were ever going to pull the trigger on some sort of side series or taking a year and dealing with uh, like an older version of the Doctor than whoever is the current one, quote unquote, then he would have been the one to go with because he's got an established fan base. So it would have been way less of a risk to do it with him. So if they didn't do it for him, I am kind of iffy about whether they would actually ever give us more than a flashback, an episode of specific incarnations pre-Hartnell. Because it just kind of makes things messy. Again, not knowing exactly what Chibnall is planning to do when we eventually get to series 13. I've seen people say that this opens up the possibility of like trying to find out where the doctor came from, whatever other dimension or whatever. And yeah, that's true, except that you don't need that hook for the doctor to explore other dimensions. I mean, if you wanted to go that direction, you could have had a companion who seemed to be from some kind of other dimension or any number of things. You don't need to make the doctor come from somewhere other than what we understand this universe to be in order to be able to explore that and do that. So while, yes, that's now a possibility, it's not like that's something that couldn't have been done without introducing the whole concept of the timeless child. I suppose in theory, it makes it more personal for the Doctor, but again, we're going to have to wait and see how this plays out to know whether or not that's really going to be in play or not. So the incarnations prior to Jodie Whittaker, they're not really impacted by this characters outside of Gallifrey aren't impacted by this at all. Even on Gallifrey, like maybe the High Council, maybe Rassilon, maybe Omega, if they ever bring him back. And But that's debatable, and it's not really something you need to delve into more than already was. It seems to me that the only things that truly have been impacted so far, and I would say are the only things worth exploring, really, are the impact of this on the Doctor and the Master. And again, we don't know what those impacts will be or how that's going to play out. But I come back to what I said before. There actually isn't any reason, once you've explored those things with 
Jodie Whittaker's doctor and Sasha Dewan's master, there's no reason for that to keep coming up. At this point, I'm really starting to suspect that this entire story is just going to be the story for this incarnation of these two characters. It'll impact them, and come the next regeneration, it'll be something else. And I'll admit, maybe part of the reason that I'm talking myself into this is to be less frustrated, because I don't like being annoyed. I don't like being mad about a show that I really like. And also, let me be clear, whether this ultimately matters all that much or not, I still don't like it. I'll probably never like it. I'd be surprised if I ever come around on that. But it does sort of help me to calm down a bit by stopping and thinking, okay, yeah, it's not good, but is it truly going to matter all that much in the grand scheme? And I'm actually starting to lean towards the idea that, no, not really. Not all that much. And I think I'm kind of okay with that, given that it's a twist I didn't enjoy. I don't know. I don't know if this was helpful for anybody, if anybody could even follow my logic and thought process on that. Again, this is kind of me publicly processing a little bit. It's December. You know, I've got I've got a lot going on in my head and sometimes I just got to work through it to get some of it out so I can do other things. So whatever your thoughts are on this, drop them on down in the comments. Be polite to me and to the people involved in this show. No personal attacks. Remember that. Um, but whatever your thoughts are, drop them down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Use your stuff, like, share, subscribe. I have a Patreon if you like what I do and you want to support me. That is, in fact, what pays my bills and how I make my living. Um, but even if you don't, all the other things I mentioned, they help. I have links to merch besides um, and all the usual things. But you also don't have to because at the end of the day, you're the council. I just run the meetings. And until next time, this council is adjourned.